Hello! I don't want to be one of those people who just uploads Minecraft videos all the time, but this is the kind of game that I like. It's all about making and engineering stuff, and that's what I like to do. So, um, this particular video is inspired by a video by Mumbo Jumbo from his Hermitcraft 3 series. It doesn't seem to be online anymore, but in the video, he's making a track leading to his observation platform above his base, and uh, he asks whether anyone knows of a way to switch a track from one way to the other way without stopping the minecart to click on a tiny button or something. So at that time, I created this world, and I made this solution over here and that one. And then more recently, I created the one in the distance, which is better. And that's what I really want to show you. But first, let's take a look at these cruder solutions. The first is just to use a trap chest. It's larger than a button, so you can click on it more easily. And I didn't show it, but once you get far enough away, the inventory screen automatically closes. And you can also put the chest farther away from the actual junction to give yourself more time to click on it. Here's some redstone for doing that, but... Uh, it's really crude and ugly, and it just feels like a hack. So, I next kind of copied something that appeared on ZipCrowd, I guess. Uh, I do not remember the name of the guy who uploads these videos, because it's mostly numbers, but there will be a link to that video in the description. Basically, the idea is to have a note block and a bud switch, and uh, there, there's some wiring under there, but it's kind of messed up. But basically you get a full block to click on, and... Okay, that's the one that actually works. And, uh... Wait. I don't know what's going on. This, this whole thing is just messed up. So, let's stop looking at it. <laughs> this is what I eventually came up with. You have a door which gives you a two-block surface area, and you just hit the door to activate the switching of the rail. And it works by using an observer block, which I think was added in version 1.10. So how this works, like all these quartz blocks are just decorative to hide it, like it's a very well-hidden design. But the Observer block faces the bottom block of the door, which is, as far as I know, the only way to make this work on all platforms. The top of the door seems to not work on PC and certain other platforms. And then the observer block activates this block and this repeater, which is at maximum delay. And, uh,. It goes directly to this repeater, which goes to the rail, and also this um, comparator fader clock, which extends the duration of this signal, and uh, the reason for the repeater is because the comparator fader signal fades and it gets... doesn't go as far. So, if you were to place this actual junction farther away, which would give you more time to reach it if the minecart is going really fast, because currently if you're a little bit late, uh, almost miss it. That might not be a problem. But um, the next thing that needs to happen is for the door to reset, otherwise if it's like this half the time, it'll be really hard to click on and there will be no point. So, it's just a line of redstone that goes from this end of the comparator fader clock 
to this repeater here, which holds the door closed and then releases it. Now the observer block will detect the resetting of the door, so this repeater is set to three ticks is also coming from this end of the comparator fader. And that just locks this first repeater in the off position uh, after it has done its job, basically. So it doesn't get activated again and start in, uh, an endless loop. So that's basically how the design works. It's relatively simple. And I would also like to point out, like, for this thing, you could try using a different type of clock, but if you take two of the comparators out, or you extend it to three comparators, then it will not work properly. Um, if you do use some other kind of clock, then you might need to have, like, a repeater to replicate the uh, delay of the signal going across there because these two need to be slightly delayed but as I show it here it works just fine so that's the whole video yes hope you find it useful